What's up everybody? Coach Zach here with Team Critical Bench and in this video I'm going to be sharing with you some breath work techniques that will help open up your ribs and increase your lung capacity. Let's get it. An important aspect of improving your overall breath is the ability of your ribs to expand and contract, your ribs overall mobility. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you five powerful techniques that will help open up your ribs and allow your breath to move in and out a little more effortlessly. The first technique is rib compressions. It's very simple. What you're going to do is you're going to use your hands to compress your ribs in on your breath out. It looks like this. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Bring your hands to the right and left side of your ribs, towards the bottom of your ribs, and on your exhale, you're gonna push them towards each other. Nice and gentle, don't force anything. At the end of your exhale, hold. You're gonna keep the hands compressing. Breathe into your hands. And on your exhale, maybe push a little bit more. So you're exhaling, pushing in, inhaling, holding where those hands are, breathing into your hands, exhaling maybe a little bit more. So as with each breath, maybe a little bit more without forcing anything. The next level of that is compressing from the front and the back of your ribs. So now you're going to place one of your hands in the front of your ribs towards the bottom and the other hand at the back of your ribs. From here again, breathe into your hands. Exhale, you're going to push in from the front and push in on the back. You're going to hold your hands there, breathe into your hands. Exhale, maybe a little bit further. Remember, don't force it. Relax. You can do three, five, maybe ten breaths in each position and don't forget to do the other side. The next technique is the lateral expansion breath. This is going to help open the sides of your rib cage as well as get air into the bottom portion of your lungs. So you're going to start, you're going to bring your feet together. Try to bring your big toes to touch as well as your heels touching. From here, arms by your side. Now what you're going to do is one arm, the arm by your side, is going to reach down towards the ground as far as you can go while the other hand comes up towards your armpit. So you're going to be doing this reaching with the arm that's down and this lifting with the arm that's up as you breathe in. And then at the end of your inhale, you're going to hold that for five to ten seconds and then on your exhale, you're going to come back. Looks like this. We're going to breathe with our mouth to try to get as much air in our lungs as possible. So get... At the end of your inhale, you can even try to reach a little bit further towards the ground with that bottom arm as you reach down. To just bring your breath back to a normal rhythm. Next breath technique is called the kidney breath. This is really going to help open up the front of your chest as well as the sides of your ribs. It's called the kidney breath because that's where your hands are going to be. So what you're going to do is you're going to bring your hands right around your kidneys, so about your low back. You can have your fingers pointing directly down or slightly towards each other, whichever one's comfortable for you. From here, what you're going to do is you're going to take a deep breath in 
Again, through your nose and your mouth, trying to get as much air in your lungs as possible. And then you're gonna bring your elbows as close as you can towards each other. And if it's right for you, you can have a slight back bend. You're gonna hold that breath for five, 10, 15 seconds. Again, start slow, build up. And then from there, you're gonna exhale, return back to center. Looks like this. Once you do that, we're gonna go over the more advanced version of the kidney breath, where we're gonna do the same type of breath, but then on your exhale, you're gonna reach your arms up, and then you're gonna bend over, bringing your head below your heart. Looks like this. Same setup like we just did. Hands up the kidneys. You're gonna hug your elbows together, slight back bend. And as you come back, reach your arms up, and then exhale, fold. You can hang out here for, again, five, 10, however many seconds. And on your inhale, you can come back up for the flat back, or come back up, rounding your spine one vertebra at a time, stacking on top of each other. Full thing looks like this. So when you're just starting out, you can do three breaths, you can do five breaths, work your way up to 10 breaths. You know, I'm not giving you specific protocol, specific sets or reps for these breathing techniques. Just explore, experiment, see how much works for you. And the last technique we're gonna be going over today is the breathing pullover. Now you're gonna need a bench and a dumbbell for this, relatively light dumbbell when you start. And this is a technique that good old Arnold used to do in his bodybuilding days to increase the size of his rib cage. Now obviously Arnold and all the other bodybuilders did this for aesthetics, but there's also the functional aspect of it, of increasing the size of your rib cage will increase the size that your lungs have to breathe. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get yourself a dumbbell, you're gonna get yourself a bench. And the way that you're gonna lay on the bench is you're gonna lay perpendicular to the point where your upper back is only on the bench. You want your neck to come down towards the ground, and then you want your body to be bridged in front of you. So you're here. This is the position, starting with your hips lifted. Then you're gonna grab your dumbbell with this grip. Make sure that it's secure. You can kind of slide around, find that sweet spot. Head gently coming off the bench. Again, squeezing the loose, lifting up. Now, take a deep breath in. Use your mouth to get as much air in your lungs as possible. As, as you breathe in, you're gonna let your hips sink down as you lower that weight back. Keep the same, relatively the same angle of your elbows the entire time. So this is not a tricep exercise. We wanna get more into the lats, more into the ribs. So it looks like this. You can let your head slowly come back as you inhale. You could also add a hold, a couple second hold at the bottom.
Yeah, after you do that, you might feel like you stand up a little more upright, your lungs have more room, maybe you breathe a little bit better. You can start, again, relatively lightweight, maybe eight to 12 reps, three sets of that, you should be golden. Improving your rib mobility and the size of your rib cage is a small part in improving your overall breath. As we know, the way that you breathe has so many effects on your overall health. So if you wanna learn more about the breath, go ahead and check out the playlist here. I got so many more videos talking about the breath that I know you'll get a lot out of. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment. I'm Coach Zach with Team Critical Bench, and I'll see you next time. Yeah!